नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर तीर्थंकर मोहंती आई एम एन एफ्रोलॉजिस्ट इन मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल गाजियाबाद टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट डायलिसिस वास्कुलर एक्सेस सो दिस वीडियो विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यूजफुल फॉर यू इन थ्री सर्कमस्टांसेस इफ यू आर नियरिंग स्टेज फाइव सिकेडी एंड योर रेगुलर नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट हैज एडवाइज यू टू गेट ए वास्कुलर एक्सेस क्रिएटेड सेकेंड सिनारी वुड बी इफ Uh, you have already started dialysis and unfortunately you did not have a if you fistula or any other vascular access created and you started your dialysis through temporary dialysis catheter and now you are considering about long term vascular access third scenario would be if for some reason your regular vascular access that is the if you fistula or if you graft is being given some rest either because the overlying skin is infected or it has undergone some procedure etc and for a short period of time you need an alternate vascular access as you know kidneys are blood filters and if they no longer can filter your blood enough then you need an alternate uh, you may need a alternate uh, replacement for that and usually that is in the form of a dialysis machine uh, dialysis machine is a machine filters who, which takes blood from you purifies it and return it to you so in order to take blood from you and return it it needs to have an access to your blood pipes so this access is called dialysis vascular access it is usually of four types the first and foremost is called arteriovenous fistula in short avf The second one is something called arteriovenous graft or AVG. The third and fourth one are two different types of central venous catheters. That is dialysis catheters. Dialysis catheters are basically man-made man synthetic pipes which are inserted into your large blood pipe. And the temporary catheter is a relatively shorter one. while the tunnel catheter is a relatively longer one with a cuff around it uh, the cuff has a specific uh, purpose to serve what it does it it incites a tissue reaction that is the tissue beneath your skin clings to it and forms scar tissue around it so that tends to eliminate the space around the catheter the bacteria the bug can enter the blood stream through the dialysis catheter that is one of the side effect that is one of the common side effect of having a dialysis catheter and that is one of the reason why it is not the preferred vascular option if a person is on long term hemodialysis the the bug can enter through two routes one through the lumen of the catheter that is through the hole of the catheter or around the catheter from the skin the bug can enter into the blood pipe around the catheter and as i have told you before the cuff tends to eliminate obliterate the space around the catheter so one route of spread of uh, bug to the blood pipe is eliminated so tunnel catheter or cuffed catheter tends to minimize the risk of uh, infection but it does not totally eliminate it so if you require dialysis for a very brief period of time maybe for 2 3 weeks then a temporary dialysis catheter will do but if you need dialysis for a prolonged period of time then you have to consider doing one of the three vascular accesses that is AV fistula, AV graft, or tunnel dialysis catheter. AV fistula is created by attaching a vein to an artery. As you might be remembering from your biology classes, there are two types of blood pipes. One is called artery, which carries blood from the heart to the organs, and it is thick-walled and blood flow inside it is very high. While the veins are thin-walled, they take blood from the organs back to the heart. and the blood flow there is very sluggish so when is vein is attached to an artery the blood flow inside increases and the wall gets progressively thickened it becomes easier for your dialysis technician or nurse to insert a needle into the dilated vein and return the purified blood there through another needle av fistulas take some time to mature that is they take some time for the blood flow inside them to increase to the maximum and the wall to get thickened 
Usually the blood flow becomes maximum by two weeks of creation while the wall thic thic uh, thickening uh, takes a slower pace. But by six weeks, most of the IV fistula are usable. If your veins are not good enough, that is they are tortuous or very diminutive, then instead of the vein, a synthetic pipe can be used and attached to the artery. On the other end, that pipe is attached to the vein. So from the artery, the blood passes through the synthetic pipe into the vein. And when you need to undergo dialysis, the synthetic pipe is poked and blood is taken from there and blood is returned there. So this is a option for someone who does not have a good vein but has a decent artery. Though it looks like an attractive option, for some people it may be very vexing or costly affair because it takes a lot of effort to maintain an maintain a AV graft because uh, the vein uh, distal to the uh, synthetic pipe tends to become narrowed and the AV graft tends to clot frequently. So multiple procedures are needed to keep them running. So in an in Indian setting where money is a serious concern, it may not be an option for some people besides the expertise to uh, create an AV graft and to maintain an AV graft may not be as widespread as that is for tunnel catheter or FE fistula. So AVA is the ideal vascular access. AV fistula is the ideal vascular access because of three reasons. One, it has good longevity. That is, if it matures uh, without any problems, then it is likely to last longer. Second, the risk of infection is minimal. Third, it may be cheaper than the race two. If it is not possible, then AV graft is another option if that is also not possible or uh, that is not feasible in your uh, specific circumstances then the third option remains that is a tunnel catheter and as i have explained you explained to you before that tunnel catheter have less risk of infection as compared to a temporary catheter but catheter means there will remain a little bit risk of infection but depending on your special circumstances it may last uh, for many years and give you adequate dialysis. So before in, and another advantage of uh, uh, dialysis catheter is that it is immediately usable. There is no time for maturation. So immediately after it is inserted, it can be used. So before I end, I would like to impress upon one fact that the number of vascular accesses that can be created is limited. For example, AV fistulas can be created at four sides, that is on either at either wrist or at the elbow. Similarly, normally the catheters can be inserted at four sides, on either side of neck or on or either groin. So altogether there are eight common sites where uh, vascular access can be created. So while one vascular access is being created, thoughts should be spent on maintaining the rest of the vessel so that you will have an option if the first vascular access fails. So while vascular access is being created, there should be mindful effort to preserve rest of the veins. And there should not be any unnecessary poking of the veins. The veins have to be preserved. So if a doctor tells, if your doctor tells you that uh, he is planning a vascular access in that in one particular limb, then the vessels in that limb should not be pricked for any reason for IV cannula insertion or for blood sampling. Thank you.